does CrossFit have a branding problem? Let's look at it this way. When CrossFit first hit the marketplace, it was appealing to a completely different client than we're trying to appeal to now. There was a lot of hard-nosed gyms with cool names like CrossFit Warhammer that had logos, something like maybe a Spartan with a barbell, and who knows, maybe even a hand grenade, trying to convey a hardcore persona. The problem is our new ideal client, let's call her Kim, which represents a much wider audience, has two kids, is married, and has a full-time job with 100,000 per year annual salary. And this is not even taking into account the negative connotations Kim has with CrossFit as a whole based on something she's seen on TV and athletes performing unbelievable feats of strength. Now the brand overall no longer speaks to Kim who you're trying to market to. This costs you money and lots of it in the terms of cost per new lead and acquiring a new customer overall. And this is all while fighting high churn rates in the Group X model. So what solutions do you have? I believe you have three. You can A, keep everything the same, but focus heavily on marketing to your ideal client and separating the stereotype of CrossFit. Or B, you can rebrand to something like Warhammer Fitness, home of CrossFit Warhammer, stop leading with CrossFit, and by doing so, you'll reach a much wider audience. Or finally, three, you can rebrand completely and separate yourself completely from the brand of CrossFit, lowering the cost of lead and acquiring new customers significantly.